This is a dog owned by a crackhead. Um, the dog is in very, very bad condition. Um, uh, people have been calling me about it, and we finally got a picture of the dog, and I sent somebody over there, a scout over there this morning, and she said the dog needs to be removed. Hi there, how you doing? We are actually here about a dog. I thought it was five seconds. Is there a very skinny black dog? with you. So what's going on, Cherry? So we got a dog here. Looks like she got um, possible mange and uh, some flea infestation. Um, and so we've gotten some calls on this poor girl. Yeah, the owner's not here, but he, but he, 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 he doesn't have a problem today. <sighs> okay. I'm the director of Detroit Pit Crew Dog Rescue. Hi, good girl. Hi. And what, what is her name? Gina. Gina. Okay, Gina. I am going to just spray her down real quick. Got it. Yeah, when, oh, I, moved in here, when I moved in here, we told we, we her, you know, you, you can't, you're not taking care of her. You might reach I, I know where you are. Right. You might as well just call. Mm -hmm. Gina, be good, girl. She's fine. She's just wondering who that guy is with that other eyeball. She's like, who's got that other eyeball? Yes. Hi, baby girl. It's okay. Hi. How old is she? I have no idea. What do you think, Terry? Gina, it's okay. Um, let me see them pretty teethies. See, I'm going to say a year and a half. Okay. Maybe two. Come here, good girl. Yeah, my ride's here, so. Yeah, yeah. Hi, how are you? Hi. Giving her a little bit of a treatment, Terry. What's what are you doing? sick and uh, and she's throwing up too she's throwing up and i walked this dog man i went to the lady she gave me some food and another Aww. guy came last night well, god bless you for helping her what's your name I sir daryl i'm Teresa. thank you so much so, you know daryl here he just told us to tell tom a little bit he's with animal it's not with the news or anything he's oh, with animal yeah, awareness yeah. he does stuff for um we want to talk about the animals that's that's all it's about yeah. So tell Tom what you were just telling me. You're taking care of this dog and stuff. I mean, it's my friend's dog. Uh, I take him for walks, and uh, I told the lady he didn't have no food, and laid the bar down there and gave me some food. So another guy came last night with a whole bunch of dog food, but the dog is sick. She need to be taken care of. He don't want to get a dog up. So we well, get a dog up. I think that's uh, pretty cool that you know that you're looking out for those in your neighborhood. Thank God for this guy, and thank God for those who to take care of these animals. She had another dog, but he ran away. He was young. And I, so she's already had a litter of puppies, it looks yeah. like? Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, give me five. See you later, buddy. See you later, buddy. How long ago did she have puppies? About a month ago. What happened to the puppies? They, uh, are you selling them? Three of them got stolen. Yeah, that's fine. Four. One got sold and... Okay. Come on, good girl. Let's go for a ride. Ready? 
Thank you. Right, Terry, there's blurred lines, you know? I yeah. mean, because people, there are. you know, so people are trying to do this, or they're trying to do the right thing, or trying to do that, and, and there's an awareness and a collective, and so, you know, what what is, is now new from here forward. Right. What was, I mean, I, I heard, I heard some lovely things right there. I heard some not so lovely things. Right. Is it, is it multiple awarenesses? Is it, is it single family? Is it like, is that me? Am I talking about myself? You know what I mean? Right. Uh, you, there is there is a lot of blurred lines, and you know there's there's a lot of education that needs to happen, and there there are a lot of good people out here that are trying to help these dogs. You know, uh, the gentleman who does actually own this dog has an addiction problem, um, and so uh, these are some of the other people that live in the home with him, and even some of them are like, yes, please come take this dog. He's not taking care of the dog. The dog needs help. She's throwing up. She's sick. She needs help. Yeah. And so of course we're just here about the animals. We we feel bad, you know, of course for people too that have an addiction problem, but our goal is to help these animals. You know. Uh, people can help themselves. Uh, animals need us. So, so we are now here at Centerline Veterinary Hospital. We're checking on some of the dogs that we've uh, picked up in the last couple of days to see how they're doing. Okay. Do you want them to have a name that we're going to go see? Uh, yeah, they, have, they all have names. The first one that we'll probably see here will be Hardy. He's one of the little puppies that we got. Oh, the puppy. Hi. Hello. Is uh, Hardy back here? Yes. Hardy. This is Hardy. We got him out of Rouge Park. <laughs> him and his mama were uh, dumped in the park, we think. We're, we're not sure if she was dumped pregnant. He was the only puppy we could find. He was actually, they were oh, hungry down in a homemade shelter back there. So, so let's get close and let's talk sweet and quiet right by Hardy. So go ahead and get your face right here and tell me what's going on with Hardy. So look at Hardy here. Hardy is a very, very cute boy. Look at him. He's a very tired boy. So Hardy was actually, uh, we rescued him in Rouge Park, him and his mama, they were living in a, a man-made shelter out there. Um, somebody called us and said they saw the mom and they saw she had milk and um, they asked us to come rescue him, so we did. Now he's at the vet's office getting a lot of TLC and sleep. <laughs> that looks like a uh, bulldog? Yeah, could be. What a beautiful little puppy. Is he adorable? He must be dreaming because he's moving his little legs. Like I said, I tried so him up this morning, though, no. get up at all. This morning, right? Mm -hmm. You uh, brought a dog in. Yes, we did. Uh, we brought uh, two kittens actually, and then we brought a dog in. A dog that had been wounded it was found by a resident of Detroit. Okay, so we'll come on back here. Little boy Gable. He was left in, uh, in an abandoned, in an abandoned house. Um, somebody had actually duct taped his legs. We're not sure why. If they were trying to help stabilize, um, he looks like he has some deformities. You see here, but he was left in a closet in Detroit. Um, some maintenance man came in and found him, and and they took the duct tape. Hi, I love you. I love you. So we took, uh, brought him, you know, took him and brought him here to the vet's office, and he's getting uh, care. And deworming, because you had a big Buddha belly, didn't you? Did. Oh, I love you. I love you so much. I love you. <laughs> Boy, it's a good shooting thing. I'm shooting at high speed. Can I can slow that down? Hi. Hi. Hi, fussy riches. So this is Marathon. She's very sweet. Marathon. Is this? Marathon. Marathon was rescued at a marathon by this young man, by um, our helper today. Um, he actually uh, saw her and uh, felt bad for her and took her in and he's been feeding her and so we're backing the vetting he wants to keep her. So we're making sure she gets all the vetting and all the care that she needs. She's definitely looking better than the day when he first picked her up. She was very, very emaciated. Look at her, how pretty she is. Um, so she's looking much better, much healthier. We would find pictures on your Facebook page, correct? Oh, I think, I think we did post a picture of her on our Facebook page, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Did you bring another dog in today? Yes, we did. We're not sure 
A wounded neck. So you see uh, the wound went all the way around. It appears that she had possibly a embedded collar. She's a, she's a tiny little girl. She's a beautiful girl. I love you. I love you. Isn't she adorable? Yes. I love her. And again, what's her name? Tiny. Would you bring Tiny over a little bit and maybe she'll sit with you a little bit? Good girl, Tiny. Hi. So this is another stray dog just running around the streets. So no place to go. Somebody picked her up. They felt sorry for her. They felt sorry for her, and they called us and uh, asked us to come. Obviously, she has a, if we if we look at it from the underneath here, you'll see this is a severe wound that she has, actually. You see that? Oh, It's uh, She is severely in... Uh, oh, my. So what, what, what did she... Was it still digging in when you got to her? No, uh, there was nothing there when we got her. Um, we're not sure how this happened. I think when the finders found her, this she was wounded like this. So we're not sure. We believe this came from probably a cable of some sort. Um, uh, and this was literally just a couple hours ago. Yeah. Okay. So and that wound goes all the way around her neck. You can see here. Um, it's bad. Let's see. Let's see there. So look how sweet she is. She's totally sweet. She's a sweet girl. You seem to only really find the sweet ones. I do. They're all sweet. <laughs> you smell better, too. They gave you a bath, didn't they? They gave you a bath. Oh, I love you so much. I love you. I give you kisses every day, all day. They, all these nice dogs running around Detroit. It doesn't make sense, right? here that we're keeping um, and we have an investigator from the prosecutor's office coming in to uh, check out all the evidence and decide. It never ends, does it? It never does end. No, it doesn't. So, and then this is the mama to the baby. She's a little afraid of the camera there. She was, isn't she pretty then? They look just alike. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. She wants to know. She's like, I don't know. Her name is Laurel. Laurel. Yes. Is everything good? Let me get her eyeballs. Hold on. Come on. For, oh, there we go. Uh, let's have four and one. What's, what's going on on your nose, Mama? What's going on on top of your nose? Uh, rubbing against the cage. Okay. Yeah. All right, so... And we have here. Winter. Winter showed up on somebody's porch the night before last, and so the gentleman felt really sorry for her, and he put a space heater outside his house on his porch to keep her warm through the night. I, I wonder why he would feel sorry for her. <laughs> Not hard to tell, right? Look how nice she is. She's beautiful. She's a good girl. 
So, what's your name? Winter. All right, Winter, here's yes. the deal. You need to carry a sign with you that says, nobody can cut my ears. That's nobody right. Nobody can touch my ears. I have pretty, pretty cool ears. Yeah. Right? She's a good girl. Do you, have, do you have pretty cool ears? Yes. Winter, how come I can see your ribs? People didn't feed me, right? How come we can, how come we can see your ribs? That was funny. That's sad. We have another one here. Um, this is, uh, we started calling her uh, Monte. We thought it was a male, but it turns out it's a female, Frosty. Can I so, go in and see? Absolutely. So she just uh, got spayed. So she's like, hi. Frosty. So she's a little tired after yeah. the trauma today. Waking up. Yep. So she just was fixed. Yep, she was. And she'll be going to iHeart Dogs. Our friends at iHeart Dogs will be taking uh, sweet girl Frosty in. Hey, She's another stray left out on the streets. When, when in every situation that you can, you, you have the dogs fixed. Oh yes, absolutely. Oh yes, we definitely want to. We want to stop the uh, population growth. Okay. Good girl. Good little girl. Oh, I give you the belly rubs. Oh, I rub the belly. I rub the belly. She good girl. Yes. 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 How many dogs do you have here right now? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are they going to uh, start a Detroit Pit Crew wing for you? you <laughs> I think the they PPC should. Wing? I wish they would. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Look at her. She agrees with that, don't you? <laughs> Look how beautiful she is. But I they mean, definitely have been responsible for a very large portion of their um, work lately, haven't you? Oh, yes. For a few uh, months now. The doctor just said to me, he's learned a lot of things. He's a better doctor now. Through, really? um, yeah, uh, we bring in all sorts of different, you know, situations. We had a dog a couple weeks ago shot. Police department called us and they said, you know, we have uh, got a call for shots fired. And we went over, we responded, we got there. A dog had been shot actually in the neck. And so we brought the dog in here immediately and they had, they did emergency surgery. And sadly, the dog had lost too much blood and couldn't, he didn't survive. But, um, you know, they see a lot of things here now that we, we work with this clinic, certainly. Yeah, and that's interesting because he is, uh, he is a, de a dentist of legacy. His dad, this was his dad's yes. practice. Mm -hmm. he, he, he grew up at a dentist. Vet, vet, uh, vet legacy on, on, legacy on his vet practice. And, and then he went to school and, he doing it, and he's been doing it a while. And mm -hmm. so yet this is still kind of upping his game. That's really interesting. Yeah. How many animals do you have in here right now, Ken? Uh, I would say eight, because we have these four. We have the mom and Marathon, right? So that's four, five, six. The puppy is seven. And then we have her over here. That's eight. And then we have two kittens. No more belly rubs? Oh, yes. No more belly oh, rubs? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, she's a good girl. She's a good girl. She's so cute. Very good, Jerry. And you know, all these dogs are came from tragic situations. All all were strays. None of these are um, none of these are owner surrenders. They're they're all destitute dogs. That's what our focus is, the destitute dogs of Detroit. And you can look at the body condition of almost any one of these dogs other than the mom and look look at him, skin and bones, skin and bones. Um, even Monte, you know. Um, Mom's body language tells a story, though. Mm -hmm. So um, these are all dogs that certainly were not faring well out on the streets. Yeah. yeah. So. Good. Okay. We're good, right? Yeah, we're good. Oh boy. Let's see that face. Let's see that face. Oh my. Oh my. I wish I can. Oh my. What are you doing? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Where are you going? Hello. Some anti-itch, so 
Thank you for watching Dog Rescue TV. You're helping save dogs by watching this video. That's all for now. See you again soon.